Positive end expiratory pressure can be an important tool, but should we be cranking up to 15 on every patient? Very special because if you can see, yeah. the numbers all go to 11. No, and here's why. PEEP is often used to increase oxygen exchange by increasing the alveolar space, most often in patients with sick lungs. This allows the space in the lung to recruit those areas that have collapsed. While PEEP may be beneficial in many patients, you must use caution. PEEP above a level of 4 centimeters of water may decrease cardiac output. PEEP may also increase intrathoracic pressure, right ventricular afterload, and pulmonary resistance. What patients should we be especially cautious with when regulating PEEP? Studies have shown that patients over 65 with a history of hypertension showed a greater decrease in mean blood pressure and an increase in heart rate as PEEP was titrated up. Patients who are hypotensive, secondary to either hypovolemia or cardiogenic shock, may have worse outcomes when ventilated with greater levels of PEEP. Patients with focal pneumonia can deteriorate when high PEEP results in diversion of blood from injured areas and increased pulmonary shunting. PEEP levels greater than 10 centimeters of water may decrease cerebral perfusion and should be used cautiously in those with cerebral hemorrhage. PEEP applied to patients with asthma or emphysema has been associated with barotrauma and a greater risk of pneumothorax. Avoidance of higher PEEP levels, in general, is recommended in the presence of pneumothorax.